Hello, I'm Brent Ferris, and I'm going to tell you about the difference between TCP and UDP and the scope of uh, Forge networking and networking in general. Um, so this is just going to be a simple, simplistic high overview. So let's say that we have uh, two computers. Here's our computers, and they want to talk. So in order to talk to each other, they have to send uh, little packets. Not all of you. I just, I just want the packet. Thank you. They want to send packets of information back and forth, and that's how they want to communicate. So uh, one of the protocols that we use is the transmission control protocol, which is TCP. Um, uh, everyone just says TCP, so uh, just uh, whenever you hear that, that's what they mean. So basically with TCP, there's a connection, and I drew three lines here for a reason. So uh, with TCP, you actually have an active connection. It connects to the other computer, and that connection stays open, and a stream of packets actually gets sent uh, from one side to the other. So uh, you'll see, wow, this thing's going all over the place. Okay, so you'll see this thing, you'll see just packets streaming uh, one after another, and there's a few uh, properties of TCP. TCP sends all of the packets in order, so if this is packet number one, packet number two will get there after packet number one. I need to pull these packets out, otherwise I'm going to go insane. All right, so... Uh, packet one, number one will get to the other side before packet number two does. Um, that, that's not exact, but just imagine it that way. So it's always going to come in order, and TCP does all the heavy lifting to make sure everything's in order and none of the packets are dropped and everything's good and everything's okay. TCP is often used in web. Uh, anytime you connect to a website, that's TCP. Uh, it wouldn't be very good if, if some letters were just randomly missing from your web page because it, the packets got dropped. So TCP is a reliable uh, source of information and uh, is very useful for sending files and anything else that needs to get to the other side uh, 100%. The uh, three lines here is because a TCP has a three-way handshake. Um, Basically, the client says, hey, I want to connect. The server says, okay, here, validate. I acknowledge you want to connect. And this guy sends back an acknowledgement saying, hey, I acknowledge that you acknowledged, basically. And so that's called a three-way handshake, and that uh, takes a bit of time to start up. So with websites, that actually happens every single time you go to the web page, um, unless it's enabled by stuff like AngularJS or whatever that loads web pages dynamically, then only some of the content is coming down, but that's besides the point. Um, so that's TCP. You have this active, constant connection, and if that connection is broken, this guy's kicked and everything goes haywire. Now, the other form is UDP, which is the user datagram protocol. I'm trying to find something here. Yeah, that one. So, which is the user datagram protocol, and in that one, um, you can imagine that there is no connection. So, connections that connection isn't made. Basically, one computer just gets the IP address and the port number of this guy who's listening for stuff, and uh, this guy just starts spitting out data towards that guy. This other guy will get it and say, "Oh, I got information." And it'll know from who because the networking layer, network transport layer inside of your operating system takes care of that. It knows where it came from so that it can, you can get that information so that you can actually respond. But with UDP, you don't care if the packet gets to the other side. If it got halfway and then all of a sudden uh, the wire, you know, the, the electrons just died out and it just disappeared, um, then this neither side cares. The packet was sent. That's all this guy knows. No packets came in. That's all this guy knows. And so UDP is unreliable because you may send things and they may not get to the other side. However, more likely than not, your data will get to the other side unless your connection is terrible. Um, but uh, your, your data will most likely get to the other side. The reason why this is faster is because this other side is not waiting around to make sure that things come in order. Uh, you may actually send packet number one first from your client and then packet number two gets there before packet number one when you sent packet number two second so uh, it may they come out of order so first of all they're unreliable because they're out of order and they're unreliable because they can be dropped and nobody cares so in the aspect of forge networking what happens is that exact thing. We send some packets. If they get dropped, it'll send again because it didn't get a response if it needs to be a reliable packet. 
once it gets to the other side, uh, then it's, uh, it gets added into a queue if it's reliable so that they execute an order. And um, so we kind of simulate TCP uh, through UDP uh, this way. Basically, we send a packet. When it gets to this side and this guy reads it, he sends a packet back saying, hey, I got it. I got the packet you sent. So imagine this guy sends packet one, and this guy gets it. And then he sends back, hey, I got packet one. And then this guy gets, hey, I got packet one, which means that it was received. That's how we can simulate reliability um, on the two ends. Now, there's a lot more complex stuff that goes in there, like what if this guy sends back, hey, I got, I, I finished it, but it drops. Uh, that kind of stuff that we won't worry about for right now because uh, Fortunate Networking just worries about that for you. So uh, that's UDP in a nutshell. Um, and why do we use unreliable? You sometimes may think, why would we ever use unreliable? Because I want all my stuff to get to the other side. Well, for instance, let's say that your character is, uh, your, your player character is moving or rotating, and you want to send that rotation and movement all the way across the network and to everybody else. However, uh, you may say, all right, I rotated, and it goes and it drops. And by the time it drops, you've already rotated more. So you're actually sending another packet saying, hey, I rotated again. So technically, it does not matter if the first one gets to, to the other end, because the second one will get there and say, hey, I rotated again. And its new rotation will be the new rotation that was sent. We don't even care if the first one makes it, because we don't really need hey, I rotated by uh, one one-hundredth of a degree. And then another one coming in saying, hey, I rotated by uh, two one-hundredths of a degree, or one-fiftieth, whatever. Um, and uh, that just doesn't make sense. So these packets for rotation and position uh, don't really matter that much because the packet that's coming after them is going to overwrite them anyways. Now, that is not the case in probably it's something like a turn-based game where uh, you click and a unit moves from one uh, zone to another. That The fact that it moved to that zone is very important, and you need to make sure that is a reliable send. And that's when we're going to get into things uh, like um, the RPC which is a remote procedure call, and those are reliable. So we'll go into RPCs and what they are in the next video. Um, this was a very, very, very high overview of TCP and UDP, just to get an understanding of the two, uh, because Forge Networking has, uh, has options for both. Highly recommend staying on UDP. It's the most tested for Forge Networking, and you're more likely to use UDP for gaming than you are TCP until networks catch up. So later on in the future, maybe TCP will be, a, you know, a, a thing. Uh, but who knows? Right now, UDP is still king of being being fast because it doesn't have to worry about all that checking, especially when it doesn't even need to check half the time. So uh, leave any questions you may have. In the next video, we'll go over our PCs. And thanks for watching.